it says that okay bro you are given two arrays nums one and nums two you have to return an array of intersection like what's the intersection and each element is in the result must be unique that's one thing that intersection can be there but it should be unique intersection and you may return that intersection in any order whatsoever which means the element in any order now if you take the first two which means i have array one two two one other array is two two i want to return the intersection you can see intersection is two and two is intersection but i want to return unique so uniquely i have just a two so that's the answer is two you can see four nine five nine four nine eight four intersection is 4 is there okay 4 is there 9 is there and 5 is not there so answer is 9 and 4 any order you can also return 4 and 9 9 and 4 both will be good now um see it's very obvious that one 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 very obvious thing is bro what i'll do now i will take this first element and then i'll go the and i'll go search that element in the new array then i'll go and take this element i'll go and search that new element in the array so very basic brute force way will be like okay bro you are taking one element from your nums1 and searching that in your nums2 so by default we know nothing is sorted so by default this searching time will be linear so it will take o of m time let's say it is m elements it is n elements it will take o of n into m time totally to go okay to to because we will land on to this element we will search this element in the entire array m and then we will land on the next element and then entirely search it on the next element and so on and so forth so that will for sure take us o of n into m that's the first way which we can tell the interviewer but then for sure as we saw that a searching is involved here then we can maybe use binary search but for that we have to sort so what we will do is okay we will sort our nums to or better is we can sort that specific array which is smaller in size so i'll compare both the sizes whosoever is smaller okay nums1 is smaller so sort nums1 so i will simply sort my nums1 nums1 again that's a pre-computation nums1 after sorting will become a 4 5 and 9 now i will iterate on nums2 okay i i i land on to 9 okay 9 is in my nums1 sorted array and that's searching for an element in a sorted array is log n time. So I know this size is n. So this will be again pre computation for this step will be n log n. Then I'll simply go and have a binary search on this of log n time. So 9 is there. Yeah, it is there. So insert that in what? In not in a vector, but in a set, in an unordered set. Because we want unique elements. So 9 was there. I inserted that in an unordered set. In the last, I can convert from an ordered set to a vector, but I want unique elements, so I I should push in an unordered set. Or you can also say that okay, I can actually put in an unordered map and then convert that from there to a vector itself because I have to return a vector. Now okay, four. I'll do a binary search. Yeah, it is there. Okay, insert a four. Okay, uh, insert a four. Now nine. It is there, yeah, it is there. Insert a nine. But as you will insert a nine in an unordered set, it is already there, so it will not be inserted. Okay, eight, not there, go on, four, there, insert it, four already there, simply. So your unordered set contain nine and four, again, the answer is nine and four. So what happened is, this pre-computation took n log n time, and then this checking of m elements in the n vectors, which is sorted, will take m log n time. So this is your time complexity if you will use binary search. Now for sure, uh, one very basic thing which we also saw previously that okay, we had to do all this kind of stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe like if you had to remember this, if you had to remember this video in which we have to find the mean common element, in here we have to find all the common elements, that's it. So um, like what we can do simply one thing, okay, we know that we have this array nums2, nums2, we just have to find the common elements, right? If it would have been sorted, it would have given us a kick. Oh, it is sorted. But if not, then what we can do is we can individually sort these both, both, to both arrays. Then after sorting both the arrays, I can simply go and do a two pointer. Okay, four, four, same. Yeah, bro, it is same. If it is same, bro, simply move on. Now, for sure, if they are same, then push that in a vector. They are not same. Okay, whosoever is small, move on. They are not same. Whosoever is smaller, move on. They are not same. Whosoever is smaller, move on. They are same. Bro, simply push that in a vector. Move on. 
move on. Finally, it is ended. So answer will be containing four and nine. That is your third approach that we can simply sort and apply two pointers. But you can see that it is <laughs> kind of similar to your sorting, like similar to your binary search which you applied because you will have to sort this which will take n log n time. You have to sort this which is taking n m log m time and 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 as you saw up earlier when we when we were doing the binary such approach we saw it was n log n plus m log m where sorry m log n where n is smaller than m so the binary such complexity is less than that of the less than that of the sorting and two pointers right sorting two pointers is a bit more is a bit more but still bro we want to solve it much better now i will simply ask you how will you solve it in a much better way so if we come back and look for what you were doing you were simply going and checking okay bro i just wanted is my nine is in this specific is my nine in this specific vector or not so why we need to solve all this stuff that's not required we just need to find we need this we, we just need to know any data structure which can give us the search operation in as minimum time as possible what is that again one one thing is we can do a binary search and stuff we can use a set but i want i i don't want much i want just that okay my insertion my search operations should be fast and for that we have our hash set or a hash map because you remember okay hash set keeps a hash okay map of number five is there true or false or maybe the frequency of that hash set okay hash map hash map and and same way hash set will just contain everything in a in a unordered set and that will just tell you okay if element contains or not if element i want to insert the element and o of one operation remove element o of one operation find contains that thing o of one operation so i just want to search for something i can simply take an hash set or an unordered set and can search in that so what i can do is instead okay i can simply take a hash set so let's say i take a hash set of nums1 okay nums1 is a hash set i have taken okay i have taken that and named it, named it as a hash set named as set1 and push in all the elements of nums1 now i can simply turn on nums2 okay nine is there in my hash set one yeah it is there bro and simply searching is open operation so i can simply insert that insert that in my new hash set let's say this is the answer hash set remember you know that you have to return a vector not a not a hash set so although you are pushing that in a in a let's say let's name it as a common so this is a common hash set which contains the common elements between nums1 and nums2 but ultimately remember to convert that to an array or a vector right so nine i'll do a simple search yeah it is there push it here four it is there yeah it is there push it here again it's a unordered set so it will contain unique elements only nine it is there yeah it is there insert it but it is unique so it will be overridden eight not there move on four there yeah move on yeah sorry four there yeah simply insert so now your common hash set has elements four and nine simply convert that to a vector so this will be a four and nine as a vector and that's gonna be your answer simple you saw that converting this to a hash set o of n operation now iterating on all the elements of nums2 will be a o of m operation inserting that element to a hash set will be a o of one operation right because for m elements it will be o of m but for one element it will be o of one operation now something has gone to my eyes but yeah now we simply are doing a simple check and stuff both inserting check search all that stuff is o of one operation inserting also o of one operation and thus ultimately my time complexity is o of n plus m and same way space you can see in worst case i can use both like this will be o of n elements this can be maybe o of n elements or o of m elements so that will be also roughly o of n plus m elements you can also say o of minimum of whosoever is there like 
मे बी एन और एम सोवर इज मिनिमम दैट नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू दैट विल बी दंसर सो यू कैन ऑल्सो से दैट इट इज ओवर मिनिमम ऑफ एन एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू दैट बी स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अस बट दैट that's going to be our time and space complexity let's see it is the most of the most optimal which we can have which is linear one so we first took an a set to one that will just simply contain nums one elements in a set now i'll simply iterate on my nums two element and i will find that element if that is present in my set to one or not again this code is exactly same as what we saw yesterday if it is i insert that in my common unordered set then ultimately you remember in the answer i have to return a vector so i'll just take this unordered set and i will convert that to a vector and can return that vector itself so my time will be o of n plus n n plus n because i have to iterate on both the arrays as you can see array 1 i'll iterate here and array 2 i'll iterate here so time is o of n plus n but space i can simply say it is minimum of what o of n like for sure n space will be for sure there because by default you can optimize a little bit here that you can firstly have a quick check condition if my n is less than m so take your this s1 this set 1 take as that set which has lesser elements this optimization you can have it in the beginning so after this again my code will actually do o of n plus o of n like or you can say o of minimum of n comma n this is what my code will do but you can optimize this to actually again just one if condition one if condition if my n is less than m sorry if my m is less than m then swap swap simply swap your nums1 and nums2 which means you can simply swap your nums1 nums2 which means you can simply call the intersection function with the swapped values which means nums2 you can call and with nums1 you can call simply adding this condition in the very beginning will actually optimize your code to not use n but to use minimum of n comma n also so now after optimization the code will become 2 into minimum of n comma n and that's what your space will be cool thank you very much good bye take care bye bye and yeah cheers